Greetings, my lovely, lovely tubidors. Welcome once again to my growing channel. Growing thanks to you lovely people. Thank you to everybody who subscribed over the last couple of weeks. Thank you to everybody who's commented, good or bad. I don't mind, just keep those comments coming. I do enjoy interacting with them. Now, where are we today? Well, I know I keep promising that I'm gonna make shorter videos. And every time I make a video, that is foremost in my mind, and then it usually runs to 20, 25 minutes. So I'm going to definitely try and make this one shorter. And I think I'm gonna to address today something, that, something that's been on my mind concerning flat earthers. Not, not flat earth itself, but flat earth earths, you know, the flurfers. And why it is that they think they're right. Okay, we have as, you know, uh, I won't say globe believers, it's, it's not something to be believed in. It, it's, you know, the, the earth is a globe, whether you believe it or not. We have ample, ample um, evidence to prove it is. Hundreds of thousands of images from space. Um, no people, NASA is not lying to us. They're not making them all in a studio. Yes, the images are run through Photoshop and there are reasons they run through Photoshop, okay? Satellites that take photos of Earth uh, generally ha are quite close to the Earth and they have quite a narrow field of view. So what they do is they take blocks. It's a bit like um, taking a panoramic shot on your phone, you know? They take strips of images and then those images get patched together by Photoshop or by whatever piece of software that NASA are using to adjust and enhance these photographs. But they are photographs of the Earth. Before anybody goes, oh, you can't trust a CGI image. If you're looking at me now and you're a flurfer, you're looking at a CGI image. This is computer generated imaging, okay? This behind me, this is computer generated image. Flat screen, I know, flat screen, green screen. Um, Anything you look at online, any photograph, any image, anything, it's all computer generated. The only way you can get a real image is to stick it out the window and open your eyes. And if you did open your eyes, then fluffers, you would probably see that the earth is a globe. Um, anyway, why is it then that so many of these people have got such this massively overinflated sense of their own cognitive abilities? They genuinely believe themselves to be privy to knowledge and to intelligence that the rest of us do not have. And this makes them a very special type of person. Um, if you compare science to pseudoscience, which is what Flat Earth is, is pseudoscience, we have two very different methodologies. Science tends to take observations and by expanding on those observations and making further observations, they eventually come to the conclusion and they form a hypothesis and then it becomes a theory and eventually it becomes a law, okay? Like Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Kepler's laws of planetary motion, they can be applied to any body orbiting any other body anywhere in the universe. They work, they are proven. What the Flurfer does is they, they start with the assumption that the Earth is flat and then they try and fit everything else around it by coming up with stupid things like Nathan friggin Oakley going on about oh at the angle of attack and all that it's nonsense you haven't got a clue what he's talking about the man is insane definitely on the spectrum no doubt about it but when they come to claim to have a greater intelligence than and certainly great understanding of physics and astrophysics than, than people like Neil deGrasse Tyson like Professor Brian Cox when they believe that they know more about, you know, astronomy and astrophysics than, than sort of Newton, Einstein, Hawking, any of them, then you know that you are in the realms of Dunning-Kruger, okay? If you don't know what Dunning-Kruger is, I'll put a link to it uh, in the description below. Um, but probably arch amongst these people is, uh, is this fella. J.M. Truth, Joshua Michael. Um, Again, another idiot flurfer who's trying to fortify their position with um, far too much use of the word truth. If you see the word truth in a flurfer or conspiracy video, you know that it's essentially just the opposite. Um, now, this guy has 
variously described himself on many and various videos, videos of his own, videos where he's been in debates with other people as an expert, but not just an expert in flat earth, oh no. He is an expert pilot, an expert physicist, an expert geographer, sniper, chef, mathematician, filmmaker. Um, he even, believe it or not, was an expert ballet dancer. Can you imagine that twat in a leotard? Jesus, that's enough to bring your breakfast back. Now, you, you should, really should watch him in any of the various YouTube um, debates uh, that he's taken part in. Whoever he's up against, they tear into pieces, literally in seconds. Um, in fact, one of the funniest things that I've seen in the past couple of weeks, and if I can find the link to the video, I will post it below. Um, it was on a video that he'd made. It wasn't on a debate video or anything. It was a video he'd made posted to his channel where he was debunking a photograph that he said was taken by the Huygens probe. Now, the Huygens probe is, as we speak, out there around Saturn. And it's got a very, very extended elliptical orbit, I think taking it over something like 56 days. But what it's doing is coming in right close to Saturn, between Saturn's rings and the actual body of the planet. And it's looping around just, just a few thousand miles above the surface, which uh, in terms of Saturn isn't that much. Saturn is considerably larger than, than Earth. And then it zooms out the other side, goes way, way far out. And there was this photograph that he had up and he was going on about how the Huygens probe couldn't possibly have taken this. You know, this is a NASA hoax. This is a NASA lie. This is once more, you know, I don't think he used the word New World Order, but I'm sure it is in his mind somewhere. You know, these are people trying to deceive us. They, this is so they can get their $53 million a day and they can use it for buying, I don't know, portals to hell or whatever he thinks is going on. All the time he was banging on about this picture and even adjusting the contrast, the colour, adjusting the saturation to show that, oh, look, these lines here, these proves it, prove it was all built in Photoshop. There was a banner at the bottom saying, artist's impression. I mean, how thick do you have to be not to see something like that? Bear in mind now, this guy reckons that he was also, he's also, um, he's also an expert photographic analyst. Uh, analyst. But he didn't see that, you know? He didn't see it. What a twonk. <sighs> anyway, the dull twat even, probably, even thinks that there was a, a mud flood a hundred years ago that covered most of the earth. Um, doesn't explain where the mud came from, or the fact that there are no records of it, or the fact that many of us are actually old enough to have had grandparents who would have been alive at the time he thinks this mud flood took place. And his, his one point of absolute proof, he says absolute proof, is basement windows. If you're walking along the street, walking along the pavement, and low to the ground, you know, pretty much at floor level, you see windows, that is proof of a mud flood. Because those windows were originally at normal height, but because of the mud, they had to build roads on top of them, you know. Nothing to do with getting a bit of light into a basement or anything. Uh, my point is, though, that, I mean, he's a good example of, of these flurfers who think that they're experts. Um, Sleeping Warrior is another one. Um, he's a complete tool. Every time these people engage in debate, they get destroyed. See? And they and most other flurfers, they, they think they're absolutely right and that they are superior to everyone else in whatever subject they're involved in debate in. But if you actually look up Dunning Kruger in the dictionary, or in fact in in a encyclopedia, there will probably be a picture of a floofer or this dunce monkey right next to it. And in fact, I'm sure the only reason that JM Truth wears that silly little hat is so that he knows which end to wipe after he's had his potty time. Anyway, enough. Let's draw a conclusion. Uh, as to why these people keep pounding on about flat Earth, uh, even when it's so painfully obvious that it isn't that it isn't flat, and that there is such a wealth of evidence to prove that we live on a globe, that these people are not just stupid; that they are utterly, utterly ignorant of the facts. You know, they've done that classic thing: instead of instead of following the trail and coming to a conclusion, they come to a conclusion and then try and build a trail around it bit like if I drew a load of numbers down on a blackboard and said right give me the sum of those numbers most of you would go right two six nine three eight three seven six five the result is this right there you've got the sum floofers wouldn't 
They would just think of a number off the top of their head. Ooh, 631. That's my favourite number today. And then they would try and make all the other numbers fit round it. That's the way flat earth works. That's the way that they try and explain what semblance of a model they've got. So, whilst, whilst I'm quite happy to sit here, I am gasping for a cup of tea. So, before I go, these conclusions. One, flat earthers, retarded. Goes without saying, no doubt about it. Two, paranoid fools who believe that they are important enough to be targeted by some ultra-secret agency. Three, they are many of them are religious mentalists who literally believe everything that was written in the Bible, which is uh, essentially a collection of ancient books that was written 2,000 years ago by some equally mental religious types. Um, a book that they believe to be the work of God, by the way, because the book says that it is the work of God. Self-promotion is no recommendation, remember. Um, they also believe themselves to be intellectually superior to everyone else on the planet, yet still think the Earth is flat. Okay? That pretty much proves that they are not intellectually superior to most things. Um, slugs and hamsters, uh, I, I would include in that. In fact, they probably think that Tom and Jerry was a, a documentary about vermin control. Hmm. Anyway, just a quick one. As I keep saying, I promise shorter videos. This one is a shorter video. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. If you're not already subscribed, then please do consider subscribing. Give Thorba there a little click. Um, hit the bell notification. That means that you will be alerted by YouTube. They'll send you a nice little email on my behalf saying, please come along and see what has ticked me off this time. Please do comment. Good or bad, I really don't mind. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. It's all good by me. Thank you again for watching. I will catch you very soon. Until next time, Heul Vaur. Yeah.